Good morning, Facebook Live. This is Robin Carrigado. I am grounding this morning out in front of the apartments. So as you join on, be super hopeful and expectant. Oh my goodness, I am so chillaxed. I'm in my Crazy Creek camping chair that almost feels like a rocking chair. Oh my goodness, shouldn't, would it be awesome if life just felt like a rocking chair? And it just is like, oh my goodness, you can rock back and forth, back and forth. Oh, don't you love doing that? I think about Cracker Barrels, massive rocking chairs. And every time I look at them when I walk by, which is only maybe once a year when we get a Cracker Barrel, it just makes me want to get in that rocking chair. Well, guess what? God's word is like that. It just comforts and rocks you. And when you think of rocking chairs, you think of infants when they're born. In most nurseries, you see that rocking chair where either the mother or the father or the guardian, whoever, foster parent, just has that baby and they're rocking back and forth and just causing them to be at ease. And you know what? Today's going to be that kind of word. Instead of finding things rocky in life, you can let God just rock you. Now think about this, because when you're on a rocky road, it's like like that, right? Hey, Andrea and Stacy, when you're on a rocky road, nobody wants to ride on a rocky road, right? Hey, Kim, hey, Kim Mitchell, nobody wants to ride on a rocky road. It would be like this. <laughs> you know, it's getting your head jerked, your body jerked around. It's not comfortable. It is annoying, okay? And so we're going to look at perspective and about your perspective today because you know what? Today, you have a choice. You have a choice for a new perspective. Instead of being on a rocky road, you can just let God just rock you back and forth. Now think about that because this is so interesting. Good morning, Sigaley. Because when a baby cries and the parent or guardian gets them and they just do that rocking motion, it just kind of makes the baby just go into a sleep again and they're all right and they're comforted. And it's so funny because I remember as a new mom back in 91 when I first had Christopher or 90 yeah 90 <laughs> trying to remember when I had 93 93 isn't that crazy oh my goodness and so uh uh 91 91 it was 91 oh my goodness help me lord and so uh when I had Christopher I had to learn to get into that place of knowing what would comfort him, okay? And so, what I would do was, I would go into the place of putting him in, in the car, and I, as I would put him in the car, hey friend, I would just drive around the block, because I didn't know, I was such a new mom, and all of this was so foreign to me, and it, uh, and I just had to get wisdom, and I didn't have wisdom at that moment. And so, when I think about, as I put him in that car, and would just drive around the block in our neighborhood, and come back home and put him back into the bed, into the crib, you know, it probably had that rocking motion, and that rocking motion just put him at comfort, it put him at ease. And you know, that's what some of us need today. If you think about that baby being discomforted, it's either because something is bothering its body or there's something within its members that has it either frightened or stirred up or just discomforted. And so what happens is that comfort of rocking and that comfort of that special movement that just keeps them at ease, at shalom. You know, it's that special movement over and over and over and over where it's just slow and gentle, slow and gentle, and it's that rocking movement. And it just brings such soothing comfort. And sometimes you and I need that because we find our perception on this rocky road and we're being jerked around. 
<laughs> we're so discomforted and we need that shalom, right? We need that shalom. And so God takes us from this place of being jerked around in our mindset and emotions because understand it is reality. It doesn't mean it's real, but it is your reality. <laughs> but guess what? You get to choose your reality no matter what. Are you out of a job? Well, guess what? If you focus on the fact that you don't have, you don't have, you don't have, which is what I talk about in Just Be, Chapter 9, Be, Have, which is actually what the word behave is made of. Behave makes you feel like you're doing going to do something bad or you're doing something bad, whereas Be, Have shows you what you have in your members. And so if you are out of a job, and this is, I'm going to use a few examples. If you're out of a job and your mindset is, I don't have, I don't have, I don't have, it's going to be rocky and you're going to feel like you're just pulled around. Whereas if you're in a behave, uh, be, if you're in a behave, if you're in what you don't have, if you're in a behave state of mind, let me clarify that. Let me just go back, backwards, rewind. If you're in a behave state of mindset, you're seeing yourself restrained in what you don't have, and so you're functioning from that person of the spiritual disease at the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and unconsciously within the subconscious, there's an undercurrent of, oh, I'm so bad. I don't have a job because I'm so bad, and you're looking at what you don't have, so you have to behave. And so you feel like you have to defend yourself by telling everybody you're applying for jobs. And listen, that mindset is rocky and you're going to be feeling like this whereas god just says listen be still and just wait on god he has a plan he has a purpose don't be impulsive just wait on the lord he will renew your strength he will mount you up on the wings of eagles now just watching me rocking right just watching me rocking in my little camping chair, which by the way is Crazy Creek Hexagon. And it's one of those that you snap together on the sides and you tighten it to get the position you wanna be seated in, which for me is an angle like this so I can rock while I'm grounding. And so isn't that so much better and comforting when I'm rocking and I'm speaking the word of truth it's just so much more comforting and it gives you assurance and it causes comfort to come to your person. And that's Holy Spirit. He is our comforter. Amen. And so let's just look at it like your finances are really bad. In a behave state of mind, you're going to look at what you don't have. I don't have money in the bank. I don't have enough. And first and foremost, don't live in tomorrow when you need to live in today. Listen, being a full-time minister since 2011, February 24th, I can tell you one thing I have learned, and this is why I so assist and aid my individual clients in navigating in their entrepreneurship in that wilderness time, because I've navigated it for over 11 years as being an entrepreneur for Christ, <laughs> being a full-time minister, and God taught me to live on today's manna. And I talk about that in Mindfulness, Mind of Christ. And I also talk about it in Rev 22 too, which are both on Amazon. And so we've got to live in just the manna for today. Do you have enough to pay your bills today? Do you have enough to eat today? Don't look at what you owe tomorrow. Just look at what you owe today. And so there's comfort that comes in that he shall provide for all of your needs according to his riches in glory. Now, as I say the scripture and I'm just rocking, does that not like super soothe you? Does that not calm your members and that you're not looking at what you don't have and instead, what are you doing? You're listening to the word, right? That's what Holy Spirit does is he comforts us. And so let's look at an area where it just seems like, you know, that if it's not one thing, it's another, that something's always happening to family members and you can't catch a break. And so again, it's about mindset. It's about mindset. 
you're either looking at a behave state of mind of what you don't have, what your family doesn't have, the difficulty they're going through, or you're looking at, we have each other. We have a blessings from God. We are blessed to be with one another. We don't have the problems of other people, praise God, which is amazing and beyond phenomenal because I would rather have my problems than other people's problems, right? And so we look at what we have, and then as we look at what we have, then I can just brought back and forth and say that he will never put on us more than we can bear. And so it just lets you know about God, the all-sufficient one, El Shaddai. Amen. And so some of y'all today, I just want to encourage you. I want to strengthen you. Look, life is hard. This is what I tell Matthew all the time. Life is hard, but because of Christ Jesus and because of each other loving as Christ, we help each other in this earth. You're not going to get through this earth, this lifetime without the help of others. And you just have to receive help. You have to take the comfort of Holy Spirit and you just have to see today's blessing. So saints of God, as we get ready to go into a weekend of independent celebration here in the United States, let's also celebrate our independence from the slavery of the enemy's bondage. And that because of Christ Jesus, our Lord and Savior, we are set free and we don't have to have that rocky road experience because Holy Spirit just comforts us and brings us ease, brings us peace. John 14, 27, that peace that's from above. Amen. God bless you. I love you. Have an awesome weekend.